Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm EZ69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at two tanks, the AMX first prototype and the Lorraine 40T which are both in store for a very very good price. 15,000 gold for the both of them, um, you get all the equipment slots, uh, you get times 5, 10 of them. That's a really good price. A very, very good price. 15,000 gold for both of these tanks. 10,000 gold for the AMX. That's a good price as well. And 8,000 gold for the Lorraine, which is pretty smang in, bang in the middle, where it should be, I think, for, for that tank. Now, both tanks are very, very good tanks. I, I'm, I'm actually loving the Lorraine 40T. Very difficult tank to drive because of the, the long reload on, on the tank. You have to be careful what you do and don't get caught out by those pesky little mediums or tanks with a quick rate of fire because you haven't got the DPM. You've got four shells, you've got the speed, you haven't got the armor, um, so you do have to pay very close attention just to where your team is, where the enemy are, and just don't get caught out because you're going to get penned by almost everything that is going to come your way. Big guns can probably HE you from almost anywhere um, on you. And well, I don't know what this E25 is doing. I think he looks at me and is like, right, I'm going for him. Um, he, do he doesn't stay alive very long. He gets me a couple of times, two times, I think, or is it three times? Nobody's he's going to miss that time. And he's gone. So that is the E25 gone. No idea what he was doing. I don't really want to push the Super Persian, so I'm just going to back up, uh, reverse up, and I'm going to go for the reverse ram into that T49. And then we can go for this T34 too. So it's a pretty decent tank when played correctly if you play it wrong if you play it like a medium with the mediums um second line then yeah it, it's it's going to be a good tank but if you try to go front line with this thing you're just going to get bullied by almost everything because of the dpm is so poor um it's a kill steal in tank it's a kill steal in tank because it has that four shells so it's best to go for the tanks with around six seven hundred hp so you can clear the the, the target so you will start seeing you will start you will see that you can get quite a few kills in 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 this tank and that's why i like it i mean the speed 60 odd 65 kilometers an hour so you can really get around the map and whilst you're on a reload a long reload i mean the reload's very long you can relocate and get into a different position and by the time you're in a different position then hopefully you should be reloaded so now this this game there's just three tanks left alive we are going to get behind them which again you want to get behind the heavy tanks you don't want them looking at you because as i've said everything is going to pen you uh, we get two shots there two eight one on our high roll uh, we missed the third one and we are going to get the the last shell into him and now again while we're on a reload we are just going to get a little bit closer there's only two tanks left alive now against five so there goes the uh, vk so it's just this is3 defender and no we're, we're in no bother we're in no bother i can still take a shot or two from this guy i know he's just took out uh, one of our guys so he's only got two shells maximum reloaded and he is going to take out our borzik um we're going to get two more shells into him and that will be we're not even going to get the kill but 3.6k damage nice nice and easy pretty much nice and easy uh didn't really work too hard uh, for that for that damage but with all, all auto loaders you will always see i mean 100,000 credits as well not a bad little credit earner with auto loaders you'll always pump up that damage like really quickly and, and you'll look at the damage at the end and think, how did i get that damage so next up we have the amx 1er the first prototype now this was always this has always been my favorite tier 9 um medium tank i think it's amazing and i do think it is the best tier 9 medium tank in the game um it is lovely it's got lovely gun depression it's got a lovely turret and what i love about this it, it can hold its own it can hold its own in tier 10 as well um i actually think this is a better 30b uh, i wouldn't actually mind if they swapped the tiers this put this in tier 10 and the 30b in tier 9 because it hasn't got that massive massive uh, hatch on top of the on top of the turret so this has always been one of my favorites ever, ever since it come into game and i whenever this comes for sale i always recommend it because it usually comes for a good price and i mean ten thousand gold is a fairly decent price for this for this tank or even better price Fifteen thousand gold for the both of them so definitely a really really good price for this tank and 
at that price, I probably wouldn't recommend anything other than this tank in tier nine. Again, it all depends who you are, how many battles you got, and if, you, if you've not got a tier nine in your tech tree, then I probably wouldn't recommend this tank. I mean, go get a tier nine, go and learn tier nine thirst before you buy this. This is the only problem when Wargaming do good deals in higher tier tanks. You get all the people that haven't got a tier nine in the tech tree think oh, that's a that's a pretty good price. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it for ten thousand gold. Like, and some people might even have ten thousand gold saved up from just watching the daily advert. So that's the only thing about wargaming selling these higher tier tanks at a low at a low price is you might start getting more new players driving it that don't know how to drive it. So just pay attention to that and if you haven't got a tier 9 yet i definitely probably wouldn't recommend it uh, it will come back eventually it always does it always comes back um so wait until you've grinded the tiers and then go and get the tanks i mean this shot here on the is is pretty decent um from quite a distance away um but it is still a four get four four versus four we're on 3.1k damage and i really wanted to farm that waffle but just as i come to the left side he decides to drop down and he's his hit points are bleeding um but there's still going to be enough damage there for me to get a nice he shot i've got a high roll so i'm hoping that i can high roll against this guy and 438 i do indeed so he's going to get taken out and it is now a three versus four but it's going to be a three versus three um and our guy over there uh, I think that's our waffle. He's going to die out very soon. So it is going to be left on a two versus three. And there's there's three heavies. A couple of them are full hit points. I mean, the E75 and a Lerva on the enemy team are full hit points. So I, at the moment, I'm not looking at capping any bases. No one's got any bases. We've still got three and a half, just over three and a half minutes, or just under, sorry, uh, three and a half minutes left to go. Nearly, well, just over three minutes now. So I really want to take care of this ISA. He's the lower hit point tank, and he's a good tank. He's a very good tank with uh, good, good speed. So I was trying to focus on him. He's a two shot for me. Um, I can probably take a shot, but I'm actually going to play this very, very patient. And it's something that I never, ever do. So what I'm actually, what I normally do is just go and rush this guy. As long as I can shoot him and don't and and don't miss, then I'm only going to get shot once. And that's how I always look at it. Like, right, okay, he can shoot me once and that's it um but considering there's three tanks left alive i'm thinking you know what i'm just going to try and bait a shot from him it's not working um so i am being very patient and uh, as i've said patience is not something i'm very good at and now i'm just going to wait for my um, my pajetto to come and help me and we're going to push together so he's going to push and we are going to push together and you can see i don't get shot which is good and our pajetto is going to take him out so the e75 now is to the right so i now know that the lerva is to the left because cap b has just been caught so i'm going to go for him first i do take a shot but that is the only shot i am going to take and i'm going to get get around him the pajetto is going to shoot him as well we are going to get one more shot into him and I'm, i think the pajetto is going to take him out so i did get shot that was unfortunate i did get shot um from the lever and now we have to deal with this e75 it's a decent tank very good tank indeed i don't want to get shot because i'm a one i will be a one shot he can actually high roll me if uh if he plays it smart or if he's got a high roll sorry um but now we do need to be careful because he's my my pajetto is a one shot but at this time i know he's on a reload so i'm thinking you know what i'm just going to get around him um at least if he turns it will give my pajetto an easy target and you can see here he is going to give up he is going to shoot me and i was actually waiting to see if the pajetto was going to take him out because he's on his fourth kill but i didn't want to wait any longer because i didn't want to die so that is a great bundle guys definitely worth getting especially the amx first prototype very really really good deal hope you enjoyed the video i'm meaty 69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye We'll